Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Tuesday. Hey, um, beautiful, beautiful day. My deal is I like to try to do like an hour of work on my stuff every night. It's nice out. Um, today's no exception. I did some work on the Suburban. I like to call it the Cockbird. Uh, it's an old uh, Larimer County Sheriff's truck, but I'm going to go through all my cars at some point. Today we're actually going to go through my Monza. Um, this was my very first car and um, well, my first car with a V8. I had a 87 Escort station wagon first and then this thing. Um, I bought it for my buddy Steve. It was small block swapped already, um, but no motor. So we actually, uh, he had bought a Malibu wagon, swapped the motor into it with a turbo 350 and took it up to high school drags not long after that. It ran, ran like 15.3 but did like 300 foot burnouts, uh, peg leg burnouts. And, um, I ended up buying this car. Um, I drove it all uh, through the last bit of my high school and the first couple of years after high school, um, a couple of nights I've lived in it. You know, it's uh, part of the deal, but no heater, uh, V8, uh, manual steering, manual brakes car. Uh, was originally a four-cylinder car, but I'll just kind of show you guys a little bit. Also, this is on my new GoPro. When I say new, I mean new to me. But building this thing is a bracket car, so there's kind of just nothing, uh, nothing going on here. Very, uh, very chill kind of deal. Nothing, you know, no uh, creature comfort at all. It's got one of these ARC uh, auto rod uh, switch panels in it. It's, that's the shifter I had in it um, when I got it. And uh, I've actually got everything here to switch to a Willwood. Um, brake with a 5 lug. Um, the rear's already 5 lug. It's got a 7.5 inch 10 bolt that I got a ring, ring and gear, a ring and pinion set out of the Cosworth Vega. It's a 373 GM set and then it's uh, it's got a locker out of an S10 with 28 spline axles that are 5 lug. Um, here's sort of the trunk. Nothing special. It does have a roll bar in it that my buddy uh, John Pavalco put in it kind of way back in the day and um, the guy that bought it after me cut the bars out of it terribly so um, you know whatever uh, fixing all that stuff and just making this into a bracket car here's kind of the meat and potatoes of it it's got a uh, roller cam vortec 350 it's got some blueprint um, heads on it I believe they're the 180 or 195 cc's it's got um, these Gobi or something like that, Goji headers that are a uh, an early uh, hooker kind of uh, offshoot. They're a little inch and a half primary with a two and a half inch collector. Um, got a Demon uh, 750 double pumper carb on the thing. It's got a, a pretty snotty um, hydraulic roller in it. Uh, it was an original roller motor. Um, but yeah, manual brakes and just very, uh, very minimal. Not much going on with this thing. So, like, it's got some comp roll, uh, roller rockers on it, um, some hydraulic roller springs in there. And that's kind of the deal. But yeah, I got this. Uh, I drove this from uh, I was about 17 uh, until I was like eh, 20 or 21. Um, I kind of moved with it a few years, and then when I bought my house, I sold the thing. Um, I re-found it through a couple of buddies of mine on Facebook Marketplace. Went up and re-bought the car for like 160 bucks. Uh, the plan was to try to put it together as a uh, cheap, like bracket car for like a thousand dollars. It was just never going to happen. It had uh, had some really crappy motor mount work that had been put in it after me. Um, so I had to refine the stock motor mounts. The headers for these things are all but non-existent anymore. Um, so I found these. These were a new old stock set. The initial plan was to put an LS in this thing. Um, the Gen 1 just makes more sense for now. Um, I may end up fuel injecting the thing. Um, it does have a uh, like a cheapy dual plane intake on it that's got the Vortec pattern. These blueprint heads have the Vortec and the old school 12 volt pattern. Um, this is the 8 volt. Um, the ones go in straight up and down on this deal, and they have a better intake gasket. Um, but it's all wired. The stuff all works. Um, it's got a turbo 350 in it that's all hooked up. It's got a 7.5-inch 10-bolt, which is kind of its Achilles heel. 
Um, eventually I'll put a, a rear end in it, and this may end up actually being my fast car, because I kind of don't really care about it, it's not really ever going to be worth a ton of money, um, and it's got some sentimental value, because, uh, because it's mine. There's something funny, I had it painted at Mako, they broke this emblem, it should say Monza, N-Z-A, they put it on backwards, so now it's a Wazoo. You know, um, these are the stock brakes on the thing. These have a really crappy hardware design on them, and you get the brakes hot, and it melts all this plastic stuff. And it's a four-on four bolt pattern. Oh, and it's locked up right now too. Which is good. It's been sitting out here, kind of as is, um, about eight months. Um, I actually got the motor in it, and the three galley plugs in the back of the motor are leaking. Um, so when I was pre-oiling it and getting the thing ready to fire. I noticed those galley plugs were leaking, so I had to pull the trans, get those tightened up, put the trans back in it. Um, it just kind of came, uh, it got put into the back, uh, back burner, and whatever. But it's got a, uh, it's got like a Jegs electric water pump, uh, ICT billet, uh, alternator bracket kit that runs the single belt. That I had to do a little bit of modification on that pump to make it fit all that stuff. Uh, the radiator support my neighbors built for me. It's uh, it's nice and heavy, which I don't really like necessarily, but it's in there. It's fine. It's strong. Um, it's all good. So, um, but yeah. So that's this thing. It's all metal. Um, it's still got like the catalyst stuff. This uh, this did have to pass emissions in Colorado for a bunch of years when I was driving it. But yeah, this is uh, this is a cool old car for me, and it's it's got a lot of history and it's got a lot of stuff going. It's just it's just poorly put together. These subframe connectors were in it when I bought it initially, when Steve bought it and stuff. Um, the seat mounts and stuff, we helped, we did. This is part, all the John part of the cage, and then this is kind of the crap that the dude that bought it from me did. These bars were actually initially way up here, um, because the letter of the law, the letter of the rule is, that bar has to pass halfway between your shoulder and your elbow. So sitting in here, that's where it sort of fit with, and we didn't really have the ability to bend it at the time. So, um, but this guy put it in, it is junk. So all this is going to need to be redone. Um, but yeah, it is. It's super duper cool. Um, it's uh, it's got a lot of sentimental value to me, and I'm happy to have it back. And it's going to be really cool to have it on the road. But this is uh, I did this back in the day. It's an old Kendall sticker, and we converted it to kill them all. Um, cool guys, and I hit my head. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, the really the plans for this thing in the future are pull the trans, seal up the motor, um, and then it's really ready to fire. It's uh, it's right there. So um, you know, probably another eh, eight to ten hours, I would guess, on this thing before it's actually burned its own fuel. The uh, initial plan was just to put a motor in it, get it running, so I could move it around on the property here, but then I figured, like, if it's running, it may as well, you know, race. So, uh, it does have a newer windshield. Um, this is a windshield I got from a guy out in Utah, and my buddy Steve, who I bought this car from, um, his nephew lived in Salt Lake at the time, grabbed the windshield for me, moved it out to Grand Junction, where Steve lives now. Steve brought it out to Eagle. We met up at Eagle, and I brought it back here, and then had it put in. Uh, it's kind of un unobtainium. These, uh, these older H bodies are just getting super duper rare, and no one has like a stock windshield for the thing. So um, the used market for these is uh, is tight, which is awesome. A bunch of the people that have them uh, keep them close, and then we'll help people out that have them uh, kind of still rolling. So, um, but this one does have a title. Um, eventually, it'd be nice to have the thing back on the road. But like the side impact beams are all out of the doors. Um, it's just kind of a death trap. 100% honest, even though I did drive it from like, um, you know, like two, or 1997 till probably 2001, um, which is stupid, but whatever, I did it, um, but yeah, so this is the deal, it's got a, uh, it's got a Holly Blue pump, it's got dash 6 all the way up to here, and then dash 8 up to the carburetor, which is what I had, it works, uh, just a cheapy Holly regulator, uh, Holly fuel uh, filter that used to be on the Malibu that I repurposed. This is a carburetor off of my buddy Steve's uh, friend Gabby. The in intake I bought new, the uh, heads I bought new, the cam I bought new, the balancer I bought new. Um, 
other than that, it's like used, just used cast piston stuff. Um, but very cool, very cool deal. Um, again, this was my first car. I, uh, I did a little bit of high school in this car. I did a bunch of street racing in this car. Um, back in the day, all right, cool. Back in the day, this car on nitrous ran like 1180s um, and probably was a little bit faster than that uh, on the street actually because I was always worried about blowing the rear end up at the track, but um, on the street it was a, a little bit more tame. Uh, ran a uh, 26 by 850 sl uh, cheater slick, like DOT slick on it back in the day, so it was kind of the Outlaw 850 car uh, before Outlaw 850 was a thing. So, uh, But anyway, there it is. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, notice I have a new banner, I have a new picture, um, that's all from Stevie, Stevie Elling said my girlfriend really helped me out in getting this stuff rolling. Um, I will have an intro and an outro that I actually paid for, um, that'll be coming soon, that's going to be kind of neat, and again, just playing with a bunch of this stuff, new, new, um, original hero camera, um, it doesn't even have like a, a screen on the back, so I don't even know what I'm doing, um, it's a little bit of that that we're, uh, we're playing with, and you know, trying to get some uh, some better stuff out there. But thanks uh, again for tuning in, guys, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.